Listen, Hector, I think you're going to like it here. Hello, welcome YouTubers and Doctor Who fanatics, as well as Big Finish fanatics, to another Doctor Who Big Finish audio review. Today, I'll be taking a look at a very recent one, which is The Mask of Tragedy, featuring the Seventh Doctor, Ace, and Hex. And yeah, if you didn't know, this is uh, the final of the Seventh Doctor and Hex trilogy. Well, this is the penultimate one. So anyway, we're taking a look at the normal procedure, which I always do. The cover art, then inside the booklet, and then my overall thoughts and opinions on the story. So let's have, see, have a look at the cover art. I absolutely love this cover. We have the Spartans in the background by here with a nice uh, sun effect by there. The Seventh Doctor, Ace, and the Mask of Tragedy with also a very big a beetle bug, which is featured in part two and three, I think. Yeah, I, I love this cover art so much. And then we have the side, Doctor Who, The Mask of Tragedy. This is released 190, 10 more away from 200. Don't know why I had to think about that. Anyway, this one is written by uh, James Goss and directed by Kent Bentley. So, for the blurb, I will read out uh, Athens, 421 BC, an ancient civilization of philosophers and poets, and the birthright of theatre. The Doctor has decided to show Ace and Hector how it all began. But the life of Athens is no laughing matter. There's a ever present threat of invasion from the Spartan horde. The plague turns out people in, war in the walking dead, the slavery. The rule, the rule of the paranoid, malicious Cleon, and his network of informers, and a giant flying beetle with knives for wings that stalks the city streets at night. What Athens needs is a hero, and who better to be a hero in ancient Greece than a man called Hector? Yeah, so there's the cast, if you could pause by there. And then this story is 120 minutes of Brox. Uh, we have opened it up. We could do the discs first, there's disc 1 and 2, a disc 3 and 4, and then there's some advertisements for other, well they're all 5th Doctor ones, strangely. There would be some Doctor ones. Anyway, if we open it up, we have the director's notes from Kent Bentley, the behind the scenes, the writer's notes from James Goss, uh, Doctor Who magazine, and then we have the next instalment, or the final Hector story, which is Signs and Wonders, and there's the credits. And then if you want to, you can flip it over to get the 7th Doctor logo, if you wish. So, my overall thoughts and opinions on The Mask of Tragedy. Uh, the Mask of Tragedy is an audio where really, really picks you into the story where you're actually like in ancient Greece, as well with zombies walking about, powerful and absolute no-mercy Spartans, and a very powerful and threatening Cleon as well. Yeah, I really do like this audio adventure, because I'm not usually a big fan of light-hearted historical stories, and I would say this one is light-hearted, but it does get the benefit of a doubt, but it gets extremely dark near the middle to end area. Uh, the first thing I like about it is Sylvester McCoy as the Doctor, he does a fantastic performance, also doing an absolute brilliant speech in part 3, which I really like, one of the standout moments for the Seventh Doctor, and does get some good characterization. Hex as Hector plays, I think, the most significant part of the role, since he is a little bit changed in this one since uh, Revenge of the Swarm. You really have to sort of listen to this one to know this one, because he sort of changed a little bit, but I won't say how or what, but I won't tell you. But anyway, he does change a lot in this one. He it plays the most significant part of the, pole, it, the, the role. Sorry, If I read the back, obviously, it says... Uh, what Athens needs is a new hero, ancient Greece, for a man called Hector. So yeah, obviously he plays the most significant role. Significant role, sorry. Speaking too fast. Anyway, Ace in this, however, I think her development is sort of slogged down a little bit. I was not really interested about her. She was more going for comedian style. James Goss written a more comedian style, comedic style for her Ace. Which I was not that fond of, really. There was not a lot of development, really. But Hex throughout did get a lot of development in this as well. Cleon, uh, I would say the main enemy in this. Uh, Cleon was absolutely fantastic in this story, really threatening. He might be my favourite throughout this audio adventure. Again, he so sounded a bit like a coward in some places, but anyway, he was still threatening and still had that strong voice tone to him. Uh, another thing that 
the en there are all enemies in this. And there were other enemies in this that have walking zombies in this, like a plague or something like that, like zombies. Yeah, they did do quite a lot of stuff. I wish they did a little bit more, but still, they shown to be a good threat in this story. More, well, they are. They do act like a little bit zombies, but I, I don't think they are zombies. They're more like a plague where people are. Uh, they keep saying dead, dead, dead all the time. A little bit like red, really, where the people keep saying red all the time, but these people say dead. And they just want to kill everybody. Uh, the giant bug thing, uh, it was sort of cheesy in my opinion, but then I just realised that it was a shapeshifter sort of thing. So, yeah, when when the bugs start talking, I thought it was a little bit cheesy. And, uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit cheesy. But, yeah, uh, I did realise that it was actually a shapeshifter sort of thing going on. So, that respected that out. Anyway, overall, the Mask of Tragedy is a fantastic story in my opinion, and I don't really say this a lot with light-hearted historicals, but this audio really puts you in uh, ancient Greece in Athens, and the Spartan and the Athens and Spartan scenes fighting together was absolutely fantastic on audio, and it just re the best thing about this audio it really puts the listener that they are in ancient Greece. That's why I think this audio does it really well with the music, uh, the sound design characters and the battle scenes so if I would rate the mask of tragedy I would probably rate this an 8 out of 10 it's a very good story I wouldn't call it a favorite of mine but still it's an absolute brilliant story and if you're a fan of the seventh doctor ace and Hector for a pen penultimate hex story then I would definitely give this one a check out so that was my review of the mask of tragedy my next big finish review will be the one after this which is signs and wonders People say that is the end of an era, but the beginning of one too. See you in that review.